hey guys so to start, that was so uh, fast <laughs> gotta go fast so to start uh you, you're creating something and you're getting to see it come to life what for you guys is the most exciting part about the process that it is at now where you're talking about it and audiences are going to get to see it that's a great question. Um, the most exciting part for me is that um, people will actually believe I've been doing something for the last five years of my life. <laughs> I've not had anything to share. I've just told people, yeah, I'm making a show. Now it's going to be out there. Uh, but but to step it back, um, when I first went out to Atlanta, Georgia to shoot, up until that point, this whole show had taken place over this computer that I'm on right now. It was all Zoom calls with our writers, with our network, with everyone, everything existed on this one monitor that I'm speaking to right now. When I went out to Atlanta, the first thing I did was I went to set and I walked around the stages that were already being built. And I walked around Tracy Whitehead's house, which is something mm -hmm. that had only ever existed in my head. And now I'm stepping through it. And it felt kind of like Dorothy stepping into Oz. It was a very surreal experience and so, so fulfilling. But David, I'll throw it to you. Well, I want her to have an ability to have another question. She's only got time oh, to go, go on. Sure. <laughs> My other question is going to be about getting Bruce Campbell to be in a horror <laughs> thriller series because as a Evil Dead fan, it makes me very happy whenever Bruce Campbell just appears in things. Yeah. For you guys, when you have something like that that you know like millennials are just going to eat up because we're going to be like, there he is. There's our guy. What is <laughs> yeah. What for you is exciting about that, knowing like those little tidbits are what we're kind of like excited to tune in for. Well, I mean, the thing about Bruce, I mean, we're giant fans, both of us. Uh, and so it was very exciting when he read the script and he wanted to do it, but it was also writing a role and giving him a role that that uh, shows what this what this actor can do. I mean, that's one of the things we always forget about genre actors is that they have to bring reality to these fantastic worlds. So there's a level of acting that Bruce does, and he's such a star that uh, it's just so exciting to see him as part of the show. And he's, he's doing something a little a little different. As, as Matt says, he's not playing Ash in this show. Mm -hmm. He's he's our police chief. Uh, he, he's our our center of sanity uh, for, for a bit. And uh, again, just so exciting. I don't know if Matt wanted to add anything. No, that's perfect. Like, you got it. He's not Ash. He's a police officer. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> if Ash if Ash and Chief Dandridge met, I think Dandridge would have him under arrest in under 30 seconds. Right. He'd how be so annoyed work? by Ash. How would that work with the chainsaw? The arresting? Um, the, well, the chainsaw is what would get him put under arrest. <laughs> um so it, it, he would find a way dandridge is a very resourceful man or or he just drive him out of town <laughs> or that <laughs> yeah i love it thank you guys so much for talking with me today really appreciate it and i can't wait for everyone to get to see hysteria thank you rachel wish we had more time no thank you guys have a great one bye